One of the most important parts of any analysis setup is the geometry editing and cleanup process. In this first part of introduction to Hyperworks tutorial series, we will explore the different features available for geometry editing and cleanup. Let's get right into it. The link for the CAD model used in this video is provided in the description. Feel free to download the CAD and follow this video step by step to get a clear understanding of all the geometry tools. The geometry tools in Hyperworks can be divided into three main categories. Geometry creation, editing and cleanup. We will take a look at all these categories in detail. Let's start with the geometry creation tools. Once the geometry tab is opened, we can see several geometry tools in the ribbon. These tools are separated in three parts, geometry creation, editing and cleanup. We will take a look at each of these tools in detail. Let's start with the simplest, points creation. The first thing you will notice is that every button can perform multiple functions. Let's select the create points and nodes option. A micro dialog opens up. We can create points as well as nodes. Let's select nodes for now. Click anywhere on the screen to create a node. It is possible to enter the coordinates of the node in 3D space. Click anywhere on the screen to accept the node creation. Now we can create any number of nodes as required. We can double click on any previously created node to modify its position. Once the required nodes have been created, we can exit the tool by simply right clicking and moving the mouse towards the left. This exit feature works for any tool in Hyperworks. Now we are in the idle mode. We can see that currently the entity selection box is set to any. We can switch this to node using drop down or by simply pressing N on the keyboard. Now we can select the nodes. The box select can also be used. Multiple nodes can be selected at once by pressing down control key. To deselect, press shift and click on the unwanted nodes. Pressing delete key will delete the selected entities. Let's delete these nodes as well. Now let's try using the shape tools to create geometric shapes. We will first select the rectangle tool. As you can see, the corner snaps to pre-existing coordinates in the model. We can create a center rectangle by pressing down control key. Let's create a center rectangle. The lengths of parallel sides can be adjusted. Click anywhere on the screen to accept the creation. Now let's create a corner rectangle. You will notice that the corner snaps to other geometric points. We can choose to fill the edges with a surface. The shape can also be translated using the move tool. Let's exit the tool. The circle creation tools works in similar way. We can select the center point and drag a circle. Let's fill this circle with a surface. The radius can be adjusted using the dimension box. Now we can see the surface geometry along with the bounding lines. The extract points or nodes tool can be used to divide geometric lines. For now, we will extract nodes. Select the required line and enter the number of nodes to be extracted. This also works for circular edges.
we can extract nodes from the same line again if needed. Let's exit this tool and delete these temporary nodes. Moving on to the line creation. Using the simplest option, we can select any two points in space and create a line. The end point snaps to other geometric features. By pressing down shift, we can lock a particular location. Let's create this line. Create another line to join these two points. Using the polyline option, we can create connected line segments. Linear as well as smooth polylines can be drawn. We can choose whether to create a closed loop of lines. The control points can be modified to change the shape of the polyline as desired. Lastly, we can also adjust the tangent directions for polyline endpoints. Let's take a look at the last option in line creation tools. We can extend any line using the extend option. Select the line and drag the endpoint by required length. We can combine two or more lines using the combine option. Let's combine these two lines. Switch the entity selection to lines. We can verify that the two lines have been combined. The simplest surface creation tools is patch. By selecting any two lines, a surface can be created. We can also drag one line to another to create a surface. Using the extend tool, we can drag any free edge to extend the surface. The length of extension can be specified in the micro dialog box. We will skip the cross extend tool for now and move to the offset tool. We can select any surface and drag it by required offset distance. The offset distance can be entered in the box. Exit the surface tools. The ruled option can be used to create surfaces from lines or to create solids from surfaces. There are two sub options. We will take a look at the smooth option. Set the entity selection to lines. Now we can select any two lines and create a surface between them. Similarly, surfaces can be selected to create solids. Let's create a solid between these two surfaces. The color and transparency changes and we can verify that this is a solid now. Alternatively, simple solid shapes can be created using the solids tool. We can drag spheres at any point in space. The radius can be adjusted as required. Using the move option, we can translate the sphere to any location. With the box option selected, we can create cuboids. Notice that the draw plane snaps to other geometric features. Let's create a box on this face. 
the fit to centroid option can also be used. We can edit the dimensions of the box using the micro dialog box. Let's create a cylinder on this surface. By default, we are in the free drawing mode. We can switch this mode to create a more advanced geometry if needed. Let's exit this tool. The drag and spin tools can be used to create surfaces from lines or solids from surfaces. Let's try using the drag tool. Simply select the line and drag it to create a surface. Now switch the selection to surfaces. We can select any surface and drag it to create a solid. The spin option works in similar way. Select any line. Now select the axis of rotation. We can spin the lines by any desired angle to create a curved surface. This also works in case of surfaces. Select a surface. Now select the axis of rotation. We can spin the surface to create a solid from it. Using the midlines option, we can extract the center line of cylindrical solids or surfaces. This is very useful in creating line geometry from a solid CAD model. As you can see, the solid is automatically deleted after the midline is extracted. The mid surface tool can be used to extract mid surfaces. This is useful when we are using sheet metal, BIW or plastic parts. The automatic extraction works in most cases. But if not, the manual extraction tools can be used to edit the plates. The mid surface is created in a separate component by default. Now we will look at various geometry editing tools provided in Hyperworks. For better visualization of surface defects, let's switch the viewing mode to mixed. We will start with the split tools. With the interactive option, we can add points on any existing line. Pressing down the control key, we can also split the surfaces by selecting any two points on the edge. Similarly, the nodes option can be used to split with nodes. Select the target surface and then select the nodes. We can see that the surface has been split. The split with lines tool can be used to cut surfaces with free edges or lines. The direction of split can be interactively set by defining control points on the geometry. Surfaces can also be split by other intersecting surfaces. We can select the trim both option to trim the target as well as the tool surface. Any geometry can be trimmed by a cut plane. Select the geometry, in this case a surface. Now we can select the cut plane by using the saw icon. The normal direction of the plane can be adjusted by entering coordinates or by defining control points. The geometry can now be split as required. Lastly, the parametric tool can be used to divide any line segment into smaller parts. This is useful to get a proper mesh flow while meshing of the model.
Now let's go through the stitch option. To equivalence surface edges within a defined tolerance range, the stitch tool can be used. This is helpful to create an enclosed volume for meshing. Using the suppress option, we can toggle edges so that very small elements are not created during meshing. We can also create fillets on any geometric surface. Select the two perpendicular surfaces. Now enter the radius of fillet. A fillet of required radius has been created. The imprint option works just like trim with lines. We can select the target surface and the lines to be imprinted. The surface is then cut by the lines. To use the boolean tools, we will switch to a different geometry with solids. The first option is combine. We can select the required solids and combine them into a single solid. The subtract tool can be used to remove one solid from another. We can also choose to retain both the solids. Using the intersect option, we can find the intersection or common volume between the selected solids. The detach option can be used to separate two connected solids from each other. Let's exit the boolean tools. Another new feature in Hyperworks is plug. This tool can be used to fill voids in solid or surface geometry. We can select the bounding lines. Now specify the cavity surface. A filler solid volume has been created to fill the void. Now let's take a look at some tools to clean up complex geometries using Hyperworks. We will start with the D feature tool. Small unwanted cuts can be removed using the remove cuts option. Select the cut edges and fill the gap. The free edges can now be toggled using the stitch tool. We can remove small unnecessary geometric features like nuts, bolts and other surfaces. In a similar way, logos can also be removed to clean up the geometry for meshing. Using the fillets option, we can specify a range of radius values to remove fillets. We can also manually select the fillet surfaces and remove them to simplify the geometry. The holes option can be used to remove unwanted holes and stitch the surface automatically. This works for any size and shape of holes. Using these cleanup tools, we can easily make the geometry suitable for meshing. The batch cleanup option can be used to perform all these cleanup operations simultaneously. If we do not want to lose a particular part of our geometry during the cleanup process, we can simply preserve these regions using the preserve tool. And this is how the new Hyperworks can be used to create and edit geometry for any analysis. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest video content. Thanks for watching.